huge wheels here, they're from the Bristol Brabazon. Only one was ever made. The Brabazon was a huge air car. So big they had to build brand new hangars, the Brabazon hangars as they're now known, but officially called the Aircraft Assembly Hall. You may have heard of them in the news recently. They potentially could be Bristol's new arena. The Brabazon also needed an extended runway, so they demolished an entire village, a medieval village, the village of Charlton. Now obviously the residents of Charlton were none too happy, but this was a time of progress and Brabazon was a global and national pride project. The Brabazon first flew in 1949. To put its size in perspective, other than these huge wheels, a Boeing 747 jumbo jet. The Brabazon was 19 feet wider. It's, by size comparison, almost as big as a Airbus A380. So a huge aircraft. And remember, 1949. But nonetheless, it wasn't a success. Only one was built, the second prototype was half constructed and was then cut up for scrap. Why wasn't it a success? Well, it just didn't carry enough people. It carried only 100 people, despite being a huge aircraft. That's because they wanted to take business away from the cruise liners like the Queen Mary, flying between North America and Europe. So they built the plane to reflect what you'd expect on a ship like the Queen Mary. Cinemas, bars, bedrooms, restaurants, lounges, you name it, a hundred people had everything they could want. Think of it as a whole plane of first class. So it wasn't a success, and some people call it a white elephant. But nonetheless, a lot had been learned building the Brambazon, and the infrastructure in Filton here had been greatly improved, and would serve many other aircraft, such as Concorde. 